605 QC samples, that same group we looked at earlier, from the year 2000 and 2014, and we also had a control group from the year 2000. So we've got two comparisons here. There's a, a mix of old and new lab methods. In this set, this is the lab QC practice. 33% of the results would detect a clinically significant error in one run, 30% took 2 to 10, and the runs to reject was, they, they just simply never, it was more than 10, there was never a QC reject in over a third, over a third. That means for this 605 QC samples, you could just as well have poured them down the sink as doing the QC test on them because the QC was set up in such a way that they would never detect a clinically significant failure. If you go through this mathematical optimization, you eliminate all of that, but the more interesting thing is that you cannot eliminate these. You cannot eliminate these tests that take two to ten runs to detect an error. And that's the scary part, and those are the ones that you really need to identify and you will identify.